The next speaker is a native of Spain with career experiences in Europe, Middle East and Africa region, Latin America and Caribbean, Japan and Hong Kong. Today in Sofia, please welcome the president of MasterCard Europe and a member of the MasterCard Operating Committee, Mr. Javier Perez. Thank you very much. Thanks for all of you. Thanks for being here today. Uh, thanks for inviting me, ladies and gentlemen, authorities, Mr. President. It's an honor to be in the capital, not only physical, but also, very importantly, digital capital of the world. So let me start by showing you a little video that I think is going to help us position the message I want to give you today. So can you roll that video, please? Thank you. Uh, thanks for inviting me. I think uh, together we're going to change the way you do things. But uh, we need your help. So you saw what we're driving at. Um, those of you who are old enough, I don't know if any of you still remember how we started with payments. I mean, other than shells, and then gold coins, and then silver, and then copper, and then kind of nothing. Uh, then we started with plastic. You remember all those machines embossed that you had to zip, we call them zip zappers. Uh, from there, we went to plastic. From there, we put on a max stripe. From then, we put on a chip in it. From there, we went on to uh, touchless or pay pass or transactions where you tap and go. And now we are moving into the digital wallet. And, and this is really important because the way the consumer expects to interact, interact with payments has changed dramatically. Let me give you a few examples. We're now collaborating very closely, for example, with governments. You heard the mayor talk about connected cities. You heard how the consumer doesn't really want to have one pass for the bus, one pass for the subway, one pass for the parking lot. Now, wouldn't it be so much easier if you could have all those things integrated into a master pass, into a digital wallet that you put on your digital phone, on your smartphone, which, by the way, is skyrocketing in terms of growth across the world, and you move around the city just tapping your phone? or not even tapping your phone, but simply through GPS, knowing where you are. So you can receive messages from the city saying, by the way, the parking lot you normally use is no longer available. You better go to the one next door. There's still 20 spaces. And that's what the consumer expects from us. And from us, I mean the payments industry. In a way, it's like, who wakes up in the morning thinking, oh my God, I'm going to have the opportunity to make 10 payments today? Not thrilling, right? It's one of those things that you rather don't do. 
let alone because we don't like to pay for stuff, right? Uh, but also, it's annoying. Get out coins, get out this, get out that. So, I, so how we that's an example of how we collaborate with governments, but we also collaborate with the retail industry very, very closely. Let me give you an example. The other day, uh, so we're working, let me give you an airline example. Uh, we're working very closely with an airline who wishes to enhance the service they provide to their clients. Let's say I want to buy a more leg, a wider seat. Let's say that when I want to buy that seat, it's not available. Let's say I'm at the airport and 15 minutes before the flight closes, the airline realizes that one of those more leg seats have now <coughs> become available. If I'm registered with the airline, if I have my digital wallet with me, 15 minutes before the flight, I get a message saying, hey, Mr. Press, you requested C2C, more leg. It's now available for five bucks. Would you wish to take it? Boy, that's a nice experience. I'd like that. I think that's cool. And, and, and I guess what's happening is that the marriage between payments and the experience, the consumer needing to do things and wanting to do things is becoming what drives the consumer. Think about Uber. <clears throat> Think about your own taxi experience in this country. How could you do that without having a lodged card, a lodged payment vehicle into your, let's call it electronic or simple electronic wallet. So we, as a technology company, are keen to walk that path with our partners, whether it be issuers, acquirers, retailers, governments, actually all of the above, simply because the consumer needs that. So what I need your help with is that when in a place like this, where we have the opportunity to talk to a lot of people who are thinking about the world differently, who are thinking about what are the sticking points, the points that are not so good, not so comfortable to the consumer anymore, the points on how can we enhance the relationship with the consumer further. As you think of that, don't forget payments. Payments are important, unfortunately or fortunately. Anything we do, we need to pay for. So when you think about new companies, startups, friction points, changes, improvements, think of us. And don't hesitate, pick up the phone, call us. We're happy to hear. We need to move to the next level. We need to move to a place where you forget about payments. We need to move to a place where governments and consumers can use usage, data, GPS, location, and so on to enhance the consumer experience. And that's what we are about. As you saw that video, <coughs> the consumer, the consumer of today, not even the future, expects from all of us providing services a different, a digital, a sophisticated, a dedicated experience. And I'm delighted to be in this wonderful place because this is the place which can, we together, help not only the country, not only Europe, but the entire world in becoming and enhancing that experience and taking us to the next level. Europe has historically been pretty advanced on payments, as opposed to general belief. Uh, chip was invented, invented here. Tap and go was invented here. Digital wallets were invented here. And, and we need to continue with that chain of innovation, that continuation of enhancing the consumer experience. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Don't forget about MasterCard. We're here to help. If you have a good idea, come and see us. We are here to help you. We're here to support you. We're here to enhance the experience of the people. 
We do that not only from a commercial standpoint, we do that also, for, we believe inclusion is important in the world. We just introduced about a year ago what we call digital food. Now this is interesting. How can you eat digital food? Well, let me, this is perhaps another good example of how we need to change the way we think uh, we collaborated with the World Food Program, who had a problem with distributing food, physical food. The problem is not that in many of the refugee camps that there is no food around. There is food around. The problem is that they don't have the money to buy it. So we introduced a prepaid MasterCard that was loaded with donations from the World Food Program and MasterCard and other people from around the world, and now refugees in many camps and people across many parts of the world can simply use these prepaid card, uh, cards to purchase uh, fresh food in the market. So think about that. Think about the future. Think about the wonderful future we will have together. And thanks to all of you for being here. And thanks to all of you for trusting MasterCard. See you soon. <laughs>